Joe Rogan has reportedly entered into a $30 million lawsuit against a massive mainstream news outlet after MSNBC purposely doctored footage from his podcast to make it sound like Joe Rogan was endorsing Kamala Harris for president. First, we are going to show the full two minute clip of Joe Rogan and Michael Malice discussing Kamala Harris on his podcast, followed by the 60 second version edited and uploaded by MSNBC, broken down by Tulsi Gabbard. The thing is the gaslighting is what bothers me. Well, it all bothers me. It all bothers me the fragility of the human mind. You know, that we're... So, everybody forever was like, Kamala Harris is the worst vice president. She's the least popular vice president of all time. And then, in a moment, a moment in time, all of a sudden, she's our solution. She's our hero. Everybody's with her. All these social media posts about her. Try Googling a negative story on her. You won't find one. So, ta da! Okay, you, 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 you've got me started, Officer Harris. They've been doing this live for years. So, in 2019, our pal Tulsi absolutely nuked her in that second debate. And right. if you looked at charts at the time, the, she's kind of, uh, Officer Harris is like doing okay. First debate, she comes out, Joe Biden, you're a racist. The Democrats were looking for an alternative to Bernie Sanders that wasn't Biden. She starts going up in the polls, right? Second debate comes out, Tulsi, being a good Hawaiian, knows how to roast the pig. Just completely <laughs> slams her. Not only that, she has no counterpunch. She goes on Anderson Cooper and she's like, well, I'm a top tier candidate, so of course people are going to take shots at me. That's her answer. She immediately starts going down in the polls. It's that day. You can see it on the chart I have in my Twitter. All the articles at the time that did an autopsy on Kamala Harris's failed campaign didn't mention Tulsi once. Yeah. It was BBC, LA Times, Reuters, New Yorker. A guy from the Washington Post just did a piece looking back on her campaign, didn't mention Tulsi either. Isn't they com wild? They completely pretend it didn't happen. Well, it just shows you that what they're looking for is not what they say they're looking for. Yes. Because she is a strong woman. She is uh, a person who served overseas twice She in a medical unit. So she got to see people blown up by the war. She is. Uh, she was a congresswoman for eight years. Yeah. She is a person of color. She's everything you want. All those things you want. But and yeah, you don't want her. Because she's not for war. Yes. Well, she's, not she's also mission. just not willing to play ball. There's a game that's being played. And if you're like, hey, you're not supposed to fucking move the ball. Like, yeah. oh, look at this bitch over here. Like, get out of here. You're going to fuck up our game. It's not real democracy. It's controlled parties. MSNBC was exposed today for yet another set of lies. They deceptively edited together this video of different Joe Rogan comments to make it appear that he was singing the praises of Kamala Harris. She's going to win. No, she's not. She can win. She is a strong woman. She is uh, a person who served overseas twice She in a medical unit. So she was a congresswoman for eight years. Yeah. She is a person of color. She's everything you want. She's going to win. No, she's not. She can win. They just want no Trump, no matter what. This is not reflective at all of the truth of what Joe Rogan said. Uh, and I think MSNBC has since taken this post down. But what's really serious here is that not only does Joe Rogan deserve an apology, there's actually something far bigger at stake here. This is yet another example of how MSNBC is working hand in glove with the Democrat elite and the Kamala Harris campaign uh, to try to spread lies, sim simply things that are not true. So what this means is MSNBC is a for-profit corporation. They are helping Kamala Harris's election campaign. And what they are doing through their platform would qualify as an in-kind contribution to her campaign. It's worth a lot of money. Uh, the fact that they are doing this should require the Federal Elections Commission that manages campaign spending and campaign finance require them to report this as an in-kind campaign contribution or to be punished for abusing their position in trying to use their platform that has nothing to do with journalism. It is purely a propaganda platform 
and that they are using this in order to try to help Kamala Harris get elected. And this is not the first time Joe Rogan has been used as a propaganda tool by the mainstream news. Most people know about the famous example when CNN claimed Joe was taking horse dewormer and edited his Instagram video to make his skin look yellow and gross because he was able to quickly recover from COVID without the vaccine. This was another instance where Joe probably could have sued one of these news networks, but that time he chose to embarrass one of their anchors on his massive platform instead. Not, the rest of them are all lying about me taking horse medication. <laughs> and we should talk about that. That bothered you. It should bother you too. I, They're well, lying I, at your network about people taking human drugs versus drugs from it, veterinary. It, calling it a horse dewormer is not a flattering thing. I get it's that. It's a lie. It's a lie on a news network. It, and it, it's a lie that's a willing lie that they're conscious of. This is not a mistake. Yeah. They're unfavorably framing it as veterinary medicine. Did you see that thing that the FDA put out? What did the FDA put out? <laughs> it was a tweet and it was snarky. I admit it. They said, you are not a horse. You are not a cow. Stop taking this stuff or something like Why that. Why would you say that when you're talking about a drug that's been given out to billions and billions of people, a drug that was responsible for one of the inventors of it making the Nobel Prize, the Nobel Prize in 2015. 15, yeah. Yeah. No, a, a drug well, that has been shown to stop viral replication in vitro. You know that, right? I, I, Why would they lie and say that's horse dewormer? I can afford people medicine, motherfucker. <laughs> this is ridiculous. It's just a lie. I don't think anyone is thick. But don't you think that a lie like that is dangerous on a news network when you know that they know they're lying? You know that they know that I took medicine. Like, here it is. This is ivermectin. You got this it with right you. here. Somebody gave it to me. All right, hang on. I, I, do you, the, the thing is, we're, we're, we're like going so fast. Like, I feel like I'm missing. I'm missing. Do you think I want that to, that's a problem that your news network was not, lies? Well, I don't. I don't. Dude, I mean, what did they say? They lied what and they said say? I was taking horse dewormer. First of all, it was prescribed to me by a doctor. Yeah, yeah. Along they with shouldn't have said a it was bunch horse. of if, other if medications. Was, if you got a human pill because there were people that were taking it the veterinary medication and i you're not obviously you got it from a doctor so that it shouldn't be called that ivermectin can be a very effective medication for parasitic disease and as you say it's probably you know i think what a quarter billion people have taken it around the world more, i get that way more so way more can, billions can, of people have taken it can i just come back to the one i want to talk about I, two, no, no, two, no, no, two no, things no. on you the have ledger to, you have before we get to that does it bother you that the news network you work for out and out lied, well, just outright lied about me taking horse dewormer. They, they they shouldn't have said that. Why did they do that? I don't know. You didn't ask. You I didn't think that was your, did, you're the medical guy over there. I didn't ask. I should have asked before. But they did it with such glee. No, yes, Joe. They did. I watched. They, you I watched. watched. I watched. You watched. No, I don't think there's. Yes, glee. they did. I don't. I no one takes. <laughs> Joe Rogan says he has COVID. Taking, <laughs> taking livestock drug, despite warnings. Yeah, <laughs> Jamie had to pull this up. You want to huh? play it? Does she, does she this have is your news network. I'm gonna watch. Let's see. I'm gonna watch. Logan telling his 13 million Instagram followers that he was treated with several drugs, and he included ivermectin on the list, a drug used for livestock. The FDA and the CDC warn against using to treat COVID. Turns out I got COVID. Look at they put a so yellow filter on me too. Kitchen sink at it. All kinds <laughs> they did. of meds. Monoclonal you see the, the original video uh, versus that. I look like shit there. Z -pack. Do you know that? I think you look good. Pause. Uh, Pause. It's enough. Prednisone. The point is, that's a lie. It can be used for humans. I, I get it. I, I totally... Not just could be used for humans. Mm -hmm. Is often used for humans along with all the other drugs I took. All human drugs. Yes. They know it's a human drug. It's, it's, a, it can, it's right. But and the, they lied. The thing... It's I, defamatory. It, it, it is... It is uh, yeah, they shouldn't have done that. It's I get, defamatory, right? Well, I don't know if it's defamatory. I bet it is. Yeah, well, I'm not a lawyer. I'm not a lawyer. It's but, a lie. Well, see, here's the thing. It, it, can we? You can have nuanced discussions about this. <laughs> no, right? you can't. Yeah, you, can. you can't have nuanced discussions about lying about someone taking horse shoe. There was no glee, by the way. I'm really not sure why they keep testing Joe Rogan. It's pretty clear at this point he is not going to let the mainstream media get away with blatant lies involving his name. But what was even their plan making this Joe Rogan, Kamala Harris ping trip video that has him endorsing a candidate he's been openly disgusted with for years? It's just such a wild move by a news 
news organization with 2 million TikTok followers to edit that and upload it, to say the least. Also, I know that people enjoy comedy as an escape from these kind of topics, so I just want to make it clear that during this election season, we're not going to get political, but I also think it makes sense to cover big stories that involve comedians. Plus, the mainstream news has been messing with Joe Rogan for years now, so winning this case would actually be some sweet justice. Almost as sweet as you pressing subscribe to this channel, our second channel, Clip World. It's like the first channel, but with less subscribers. And you can change that right now.